not all chill is it five chapter five one one anecdote uh, comes to mind which is in some ways representative of, of uh, Norochel and probably perhaps me, his friend. He was um, in somewhere in doing practice, or was he already an engineer? Anyway, the fact is he had to be in the wild, if you will. That's geology, right? Ah, unless, of course, you have. Uh, work in an office or you're assigned or you're a professor as his father was and his mother in fact his father had a he was teaching uh, as a professor his mother madame Marcus, um, had a seminary she wasn't i don't know if she was a full professor she was a lec lector she was a an aspiring professor I, i'm not sure she, uh, fact is both uh, <laughs> where one a teacher and another one had a seminar with with uh, yours truly but anyway no as he was on this um, field trip student or engineer happened to uh, happened to have to cross uh, so uh, particular formation this <laughs> what was it was it that they were putting cement uh, it was just some some mud some some loot some some uh, special earth uh, under uh, after the rain or fact is he got stuck got stuck and I, I think he was telling I, I I didn't see it he told us about this and I don't remember his his style because he was funnier uh, oh he was funny and I'm not I'm sorry for that uh, I think he they had to come with a an equipment of some kind some machinery some some excavator some I don't know uh, trolley To, to pull him f from there because he he really got stuck and without this um, extra help he would be <laughs> forever and ever there so uh, that was one thing and, and speaking of his parents uh, Mr. Marcus uh, that was his I mean not Chel Marcus uh, Mr. Marcus Professor Marcus whatever his Christian name was I, I don't know he was a professor of mineralogy, minerals, and um, he was professor at the same uh, in the same domain with the one who would become uh, president of the country, Constantinescu. So I think there were these two options: one we could have as professor of minerals, mineralogy. Constantinescu, who, how many years? 89. Six, seven, I don't know, years after I've, I've, I've graduated, I finished, I, I, I became an engineer, geophysicist. He would become um, president of the country. Um, a change, a, 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 an aspiration, a, a great hope after the Red Plague, the Red Iliescu, a vicious leader. But then also a disappointment, we must say that. And an increasing disappointment, he, things he did after he uh, left office. I mean, Siding with the former enemies, I think, to one point, of creating a stupid, silly institute for uh, 
I don't know what studies, uh, apparently useless, uh, but consuming lots of money in a country which needs a lot for everything, hospitals, medicine, roads, you name it. There's a huge need in the, and a um, tremendous uh, problem there with the infrastructure, only two highways, rather short highways in all. And so much more is, is, is lacking. Anyway, so <laughs> I think this will have to be for tomorrow, um, uh, the story of the relationship with his father and mother. Uh, nice people, uh, nice people. I wonder if, uh, I, I think I heard the mother died um, maybe 15 years ago or so. Uh, I wonder what the father is doing if he's still if he's still around, still alive. Um, he, um, I had to give an exam with him. I mean, there's a there's a story for for tomorrow. I'm guessing about that because it's, it will not fit. I mean, either I start now and we go on for for ages until this evening, or. I better start it tomorrow and finish this here.